So I'm getting a vlog of a vlog of a vlog hey. of a vlog while we listen. Six thirty sub AM on a Monday. Chest day. Um, you know, it's pretty tired today, but um, I actually slept in till 5 a.m. because usually I'm up at 4. Um, just a little tired, had a crazy weekend, uh, which I gotta stop. So, and now here at the gym, pushed through it. You know, I was tired, felt like crap, but you have to push through it sometimes. And, just go for it, so. Horizontal vertical, right? Vertical is vertical. So finishing off my chest workout with some dips. Pretty tiring after uh, about an hour. Um, now that I gained weight, uh, my strength has gone up dramatically. And uh, I'm so surprised my body weight workouts or calisthenics are still pretty fairly good compared to how I used to train. Um, but one thing I do notice is the age factor. So my body takes a little longer to recover. Yogurt. Protein and a powdered peanut butter and these Uncrustables are life. So, um, crazy, pretty long weekend. I'm very exhausted. I'm tired. I've been drinking uh, alcohol more than I should. I've been staying out too late. Um, so I got to kind of come back and get focused. Um, I've been in a quote unquote bulk for about two years. Um, still fairly lean, but I just haven't been taking care of myself. My body feels like crap. Although I'm getting stronger, although I'm performing certain moves in calisthenics that I haven't even done when I was my leanest, um, I think it's time to bring it down a bit. So, um, you know, I've just been losing a lot of uh, focus, been losing that drive to, you know, stay uh, consistent with my nutrition, my dieting. Even with flexible dieting, um, I just tend to just you know, start out okay on the Monday, and then by Monday afternoon, it's just kind of downhill from there, and then the weekends is a lot worse, so. So that's kind of where, where I stand right now as far as my whole uh, fitness, physical um, endeavors. So uh, um, I even bought some uh, meal suppressants, like fat burners, to kind of help me get back in track, and that hasn't worked because of my habits. So I gotta kind of fine tune and change those habits again and just you know get back into the rhythm of things so as far as work goes works pretty good I got another raise I got three raises in like three months I got another raise so I'm actually higher than what I was getting paid in the banking world and by the looks of it I should be trending to making even more by this summer if not the end of this year which uh, is looking good um, and then of course well, with the with the brand on the side, uh, we had to do some minor changes and tweaks and just kind of change the whole strategies on that. So I'll kind of cover that more more later where we stand and what I've been doing the last couple of weeks. So right now, uh, my phone's gonna die, so I gotta cut it off. And I'm just gonna eat this breakfast, head to work, and uh, we'll catch you guys sometime later today or if not. Whoa, what a day. Got cut over some stuff. So I'm right here, gonna get a cut at uh, Cali Cuts with my cousin. So let's see uh, see what he's up to. Let's go bug him. I'm tired, bro. From this weekend. Hey, you guys listen to this? What are you doing? All day, bro. That's what I was listening to. You heard of Gasolina? Uh, Daddy Yankee? That's your new house. Pretty new, huh? Yeah. yeah. Are you vlogging? Huh? Yeah. 
This one? Yeah. Yeah. He is down, bro. He has some dope song. Finished getting cut here at my cousin. Getting cut. Um, so today didn't go as planned as far as what I had in mind to do. I um, got cut up at work. And uh, daddy duties at home and such. So I think I'm gonna make this a vlog into like a two day type of thing. So today and tomorrow. Um, so we will see. Um, kinda had some stuff in mind, but you know, it's kinda how my, my days aren't really uh, structured. Um, I do make sure I do certain things every day to get me closer to what I'm doing, but as far as I have like a structure set um, every on a daily basis, uh, not necessarily right now. I'm just kind of playing it by ear because of my current endeavor. But so we'll see. Um, so we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, we'll combine the the two days and uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. So. I think it's working now. Yo, let me fix the lighting real quick. Uh, 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 uh. He's uh, prepping his drugs real quick. So, Tuesday morning, it's a pull day. It's Valentine's Day, but to me, it's more of a back day. So, we gotta kill it. We'll see what's up. We've got the crew again lifting with us. I think Johnny's still confused that it's uh, 5:30 p.m. instead of a.m. I think it. I, I think I'm fucking lost, dude. Honestly, yeah. I, I don't. I think I'm going through a depression or some bullshit. Cause I'm waking up at the eight times of the motherfucking morning and I'm at the gym. Yeah. What the fuck? Right, right. <laughs> All right. So just finishing up back day. We got the, my bro. We got Rico J. Chris Garcia again. Second day in a row. So now it's time to get the day started, and uh, hopefully I get to finish the what I wanted to talk about last night. So, so usually my day consists of waking up at four, reading, walking my dog, and hitting the gym for about an hour and a half, almost two hours, depending on the time. So today we gotta do some back day, one of my favorite days to live. So let's get started. Uh, yeah. Squeezing through. Whoa. So, I'm gonna drop off some stuff to the guy that does the printing. And, uh, but first, I gotta go to work. And this is only some of the stuff. We're still waiting on more, so. Throw that in there. You know, it took me a while to find at least something of good quality. Cause originally, I did not want to put any, like, just whatever stuff out there. So quality, quality has always been my concern. Even if it took me longer, like I was saying is uh, primary focus has always been quality. You know, I had to throw away a bunch of samples. I've wasted so much money on samples. Um, a, because I don't really know how the business works. B, because uh, um, this kind of by accident, I wasn't, I didn't never thought I was gonna be doing this. And uh, C, because you know, my you know, reputation is everything to me mostly before then actual selling or pushing out products. So I guess what we focus on is just quality, quality, not perfection, which is a, one thing that I learned is if uh, you try to wait for perfection, you know, you just got to get the idea, the concept out there, test it. And as it grows and develops, then you can start, you know, perfecting the product or the service, whatever you're doing. That's kind of one thing that uh you know, I would suggest uh, to to some of you going through the same endeavors or just anything in general, because I was in the service uh, business for a while. I still am in the service business, but you know, just never, never, ever, ever seek perfection. You know, like there's a quote that they say that perfection kills innovation. So put it out, test it. Once the proof of concept comes, then you start.
we got stone. Oh, uh, yeah. Black. Tags. I'm colorblind, so I'm gonna say these are brown. Right? Khaki. And dad hats. Those are cool, bro. Yo. Check this out. Yeah. So get the dad hat. The embroiled logo. There we go. Really cool. Black one. White. Same thing in the back. Let's see that right there. Yeah, that's cool. 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 Front. This one I think is a uh, stone khaki. I've been dying to get one of these. Now I'm at home. This is kind of the time where I get to um, work. What I call consider work. Um, honestly, I don't really call it work. It's more of a I have to kind of get some stuff done or. Just the simple fact of the commitment to, you know, stay in front of a computer or I'm doing something, whether I'm studying, I'm learning, um, working on, actually working on something, whether implementing something, um, or just the simple fact, sometimes I would even stare, I'm not gonna lie, I would stare at the computer for hours sometimes when I first started the, this endeavor. And now because, um, because I, I, well, I got back to work and I got back to my early morning routines. Um, I have to be in bed by a certain time because I don't function after a certain time. You know, like you hear these entrepreneurs or these like motivational pages or, you know, these gurus say like, oh, you got to work till 3 a.m. You got to work 24 hours a day. You got all this stuff. Honestly, it's not like that. Um, <clears throat> if you can't get something done within the span of the, the daylight or within a couple hours, then... You're not being productive. I mean, being busy doesn't mean necessarily that you're doing the right thing. As a matter of fact, you're being unproductive. So um, it's just executing. You know, that's one thing that I've been trying to learn is if I have some stuff to do, I'll write down some stuff. I'll have a list with me on my phone, mental notes or whatever. And there's stuff that I need to tackle. Like I need to get in contact with this person. I need to make this call. I need to send out this email. I got to send out these emails. I got to follow up with my partner. I got to... Um, uh, well, you know, whatever is going to take me to, you know, a step closer to, to what I'm trying to do is just, you know, my my mythology is planting seeds, planting seeds along the way. And there are days where I do put in, you know, I put hours on end, you know, um, I've stayed up late till, you know, <coughs> the late early hours of the morning. Um, there's days where I might not even do anything, but um, that doesn't necessarily mean that I stop working. It's just if, if I'm not working physically or, or actually on something, then I'm working mentally. And, you know, but I'm not no one to, to, to say how to do anything like that. I'm still learning. I'm still developing. I'm still trying to figure this thing out. So um, I'm not like the perfect person to tell you, hey, maybe you should do this, you know. I've learned from certain things. Um, I have, <coughs> excuse me, but... I'm just trying stuff, trying new stuff, trying to implement new things, just throwing things at the wall, see what sticks, see what works. And I'm always adjusting. I'm always trying a different approach. I'm always, you know, just keeping the eye open for, for that. So um, so that's kind of what, what uh, you know, kind of what I've been, been experiencing with, with not only this, but other stuff, you know, that I, that I embarked on this, this journey. And, um, you know, every night. Um, well, now I mean, I, I I don't get to do it much as I I stay in you know with my kid, and <clears throat> excuse me. By the time he goes to sleep, or by the time I'm free, it's like time for me to go to bed. But I still make sure I do something. You know, I still like whether I read an article, whether I send out an email, whether I and just do that one thing that that, that gets you closer. And um, <clears throat> so that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's about eight oh six p.m. Um. Got the computer screen with me. Uh, sometimes I work from bed. I'm 
technically, I mean, it's not. I don't recommend it, but I mean, um, you know, my parents, uh, they like to watch TV, so <clears throat> or just a lot of noise in my home. I just don't even want to stay on on that side of the house, so I'll come in my room and I'll, I'll just do what I have to do, and you know, sometimes it works. I mean, sometimes I have to get up and walk around, or I'll just put on earphones or something and just sit somewhere, you know, in the house that may not, you know, if, even if it's noisy or something. As far as where we stand at the moment, um, we're actually, we've been working and we've been trying to find, you know, the like we like I mentioned earlier, the the right pieces as best as I can. Um, you know, focusing on quality, um, taking the stuff today. Hopefully we get them done within about a week or so. I'm still waiting on more stuff. Uh, I mean, God, what what have I have I done? I mean, since I started, I've been in a year in already, and it's funny. I was looking at my Shopify, uh, which is what I use for my website, and it's our year anniversary today. And I'm like, oh dang! So it's it's been about a year, and you know, thinking back today as as to what what uh, we've done, what we've embarked on, the people we've met, the stuff that we've done, the mistakes that we've done, the the times that we've fallen. You know, it's it's been a, it's it's been an interesting journey. What we are currently undergoing, um, I'll do a separate video as as to what tactics and strategies we implemented to kind of, you know, sell a thousand dollars in our first week, or growing the page or or anything like that. Uh, had to drop athletes that we had on board with us or um, influencers. And I had to cut the cord on a gym where we had the banner on for you know for to to promote the the brand and stuff like that uh, because in this gym kind of the idea behind it is it's a boxing gym you know the whole be relentless movement you know uh, kind of has to do I mean just in general in life but it, you know boxers are relentless you know they're out there to kill they're out there to fight and win and you know um, I thought it was a a good idea to try to push that through, through that, that sector. And then also um, the person that trains her, which is uh, uh, Ricky Funes, uh, Tengu's Boxing. And there's a lot of high caliber uh, celebrities or, or uh, influencers, I mean, from Instagram to comedians. Um, I mean, celebrities like Justin Bieber. Um, you got influencers. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on as to people that can get exposed to it. And hopefully spark that creativity to ask like, yo, what what is that? What is that? You know, they see the banner and the logo kind of like stands out like, yo, what is Alpha Core? Like, what does that mean? And you know, we were hoping that uh, uh, we would get some traction from that as far as growing the brand and the awareness. Um, it it was an experience. Um, it did cost. I'm not gonna lie, it did cost. Um, and what we got from it, um, it, it wasn't. Like, was it worth it in the short term? No. Is it worth it in the long term? Yes, because we got branding from it, you know? So it's not only his page that has come out. It's come out, I mean, kind of, I've seen people are doing videos for their brand. I see people doing uh, uh, music videos. Um, I've seen people or like, uh, you know, it just come out in different pages or at least at least setback, I think is his name. It's like some guy known in boxing that records, um, you know, fighter like Bam Bam Rios and um, the, the Diaz brothers and UFC and stuff. And they all take pictures, they all take videos, and the banner comes out. So it's it's come out in several pages. It's not just in you know the gym. It's not just oh someone sees it. It's all those people's following me sees it. It's you know those persons or the people that follow the people or. You know, they tag or they comment or they like or they see on the explore page on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or anything. So it, it it's I've noticed and this is just in a in a small scale, but I mean I can see the views or even on YouTube, you know, from, from these people that uh um that have you know those social media bases. So it it's helped as far as at least getting more eyes to it, you know, so it's out there. Um I don't know if these celebrities or if these influencers or these people ask what is it. Um, I'm pretty sure we were able to connect with a trainer um, that trains a lot of high-end uh, executives. And 
he happened to ask, you know, like, yo, what is that? And then, you know, well, it wasn't me, but we had someone that, that's helping us out that was out there in representation of us and, you know, got that connection and we really liked what the what the brand stood for. And, you know, he happens to be a strength and condition coach for not only these uh, um, uh, executives, but also, you know, pro fighters and stuff like that. And, you know, it's like, hey, you, I like it, you know, like, can I be a part of it somehow? Like, you know, I'll, I'll help you guys push it out there, whatever it is. And <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sure there was more people out there that asked, you know. Um, I would have liked it to be other, you know, high caliber celebrities that have a lot of influence. You know, um, I mean, regardless of what you think of him, you know, Justin Bieber has a very, very large influence, at least, you know, in the U.S. with teenagers in Canada, wherever he's from. Um, but, you know, did he ask? I don't know. I tried to give him a shirt. You know, it just didn't work out like that. I knew there was going to be money involved or some type of favor for favorite thing. And, you know, it, it is what it is. It's a learning experience. So, um, so it got to the point where it just <clears throat> wasn't worth it at the moment. Right now, I had to t kind of take a step back and just cut the cord and just use those funds either to, you know, relocate them to something else or save them or. You know, all we got from it is uh, branding, and I mean, it comes out of multiple pages, so it's not just in his Instagram. I mean, I've seen it in different pages. I don't even know the followers. I don't even know the people. They tag people. I look at their profiles, and it's like the banner right there. So um, long term, it should be a, a good move because, you know, all these YouTube videos and all these posts, stuff like that, they're still going to be there, so people eventually will, it'll, it'll, I, I, I think of it more long term. I don't. You know, and I and I told my partner it's not gonna be like a oh we put the banner today and by tomorrow we no no I told him it's gonna take time it's gonna you know we were there since about July August it's February now and you know I had to take it down actually this Friday uh, this weekend I'm gonna go out there and pick it up and you know do the last payment and you know hopefully uh, maybe one day we'll, we'll we'll put it back up I'm not sure but and then now also so what we're doing is we're changing the strategy as to. How we're gonna grow this? You know, I try to take a slightly different approach. Um, I read. I read. I started. I became an avid reader, so I started reading books and started seeing, studying other brands, other people, other people that have done this before me, and kind of you know grab little bits and pieces of what they've done that's successful and try to use them into my own, or you know emulate, not copy or mimic, uh, emulate because when I did other stuff before, I copied and well, you know, it doesn't work like that. So. Um, started to emulate and implement those those tactics and I don't want to say it yet because I haven't tested it. I'm still in the work with it. I'm how to bring in a marketing guy that's been working our Instagram page and if you guys uh, that, that follow the page, um, you guys will notice it's slightly different from when I was in charge of it or, or you know my partner or and so far we like it. So far we see I see the I see how he's working. I see the hustle he's putting behind it. You know, he kind of worked for us for free a little bit before we, we you know, we told him, hey, you know, we'll, you know, let's let's bring you on board. And um, it was kind of a risky move where I didn't have the capital or the funds to kind of pay him up front. But he believes in us and he was willing to take like a small pay and just start working on it. That that shows a lot from someone because everything and everyone else or majority of the people, they expected something like what's in it for me. This guy's like, yo, how can I help? You know, let me do this for you. He did it. He executed. So he kind of got that that trust from me as far as to like, you know what, you know I'm gonna trust this guy. I'm gonna risk it, where um I'll figure out how to, you know how to, you know pay him for 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 the work he's done. I'll figure that out somehow. But um you know I'm just glad that that, you know and it and it shows it shows he's he's been growing the page. I see the the, you know how he's interacting with people and and. He does, I mean, I got him too because he does have some experience in growing the page and marketing and Instagram pages and stuff. So it's not like I just got him because he's cool. No, it's like, you know, as as a guy in charge of this, I need to make sure the people that I bring on board have a certain skill base or skill set or something that can bring a value to us, but also we can somehow bring value to them. And, you know, we've been going back and forth. He's been giving me ideas. You know, I told him, hey, I want to take the strategy. What do you think? He's like, yeah, you know what? Let's try this too. So, so far it's looking good. Um, I'm excited with with um, you know what can be of it, but I'm also nervous because of all, of other previous um, you know approaches that that we've taken. But I mean, you gotta be relentless with everything you do, whatever it takes. I mean, at this point, 
you know, let's just gun it and we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's kind of where, where we're at right now. So I'm gonna finish the video now. Um, I'm gonna try and do a lot more interesting stuff for you guys. I'm, I'm very, very boring lately. It's very uh, uh, tedious ritual as to my daily activities. It's like, yeah, I wake up, I read, I study, I train, uh, I go to work with my kid. And, and then I'm on the computer, I'm on the laptop. So this is kind of life right now until I build it. So I'm gonna try and take more more trips out there, you know, go out there and be more interesting to kind of show more of the journey of, of, of what I'm doing. Um, it's just I, lately I haven't been able to do much. I've been caught up, you know, because, you know, I'm a dad as well. So I had to, you know, put it aside. Not necessarily aside for a bit, but there's not been much going on also for me to you know, document every single day, but, you know, as, as uh, stuff comes or if something happens or as the events occur, then I will try to document those and, you know, those of you that are, are aspiring to do something or just, you know, want to see what, what I'm up to or <laughs> kind of how we're growing this and you guys can grow with us as to how the, the brand develops, you know, uh, <coughs> so I do, I do promise I will, uh, Try and get more, more, a little more interesting, you know, because I, I can be fairly boring, like I said. But new hats out. It was one of the dad hats I was able to to get. Um, we have some distress hats as well. Those are really dope. I cannot wait to get my hands on those. Uh, we still don't have them out all yet, but um, we do have some I mean, limited supply available in the website. Um, I will not try to push product on my videos i'm not in this to like sell you guys oh hey go check out my website nothing like that i mean i will put the links and everything i invite you guys to check it but i'm not gonna be like hey go check go buy this now no it's not like that it's um you know i just happen to be wearing it and and if i believe in something if i like it you know i will wear it and i will pay for it like i paid for this hat even though i'm the main guy from it but it just shows like, hey, if I believe in my product, if I believe in what it represents, then why can I take my own money to pay for it? Even though it's been costing me, but I just kind of how, how, how we see it now. But check it out. Um, stay in tune with what we'll be releasing. Uh, you know, it, it's been taking us a while. It's been taking me a year to find finally a, a material that, you know, or a quality that, that I'm you know, proud and comfortable with putting out in the market. Um, like I said, quality and integrity is is priority to us and um, service as well. So um, if you guys have any feedback, let us know. Send us an email. Um, hit me up on Instagram at Fitted. Um, hit up my partner Brian. I believe he's Brian Sanchez. Um, I'll find his Instagram and I'll put it somewhere in here. But let us know. We we'll always have our ears out there listening to you guys. You know, we, we take into to consideration as to styles, colors, um, specific items or something. But, you know, as we further develop, as we further grow, and we'll see where this goes. So, we'll leave it at that. We'll catch you guys next time. So, be relentless. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, make sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends. I would appreciate it. We're done. Bye.